Is consciousness an integral component of the quantum realm or is it just a byproduct of our neurology? A thought-provoking question, isn't it? And it presents us with a fascinating topic, quantum consciousness. Imagine for a moment that the laws of quantum mechanics, which govern the smallest particles in the universe, intertwine with the very essence of our thoughts and awareness. It's a hypothesis suggesting that classical mechanics and neuronal connections alone might not be enough to explain consciousness. Instead, it proposes that quantum mechanical phenomena, such as entanglement and superposition, could play a role in how our brains function and how we perceive the world around us. Yet it's important to note that these are unvalidated hypotheses and they tread a fine line, overlapping with the realm of quantum mysticism. Some scientists and philosophers even contest these ideas, arguing that they lack a solid scientific basis. But that's what makes this topic so intriguing and controversial. Let's delve deeper into the mysterious world of quantum consciousness. From David Bohm's implicate order to the orc or theory, quantum consciousness has been a subject of numerous hypotheses. Quantum consciousness or the quantum mind suggests that the mechanics of our minds extend beyond the classical into the realm of quantum physics. Let's begin with David Bohm, a theoretical physicist who proposed an intriguing perspective. Bohm suggested a more fundamental level in the universe, a level he termed the implicate order. According to Bohm, this implicate order is the wellspring from which consciousness emerges. It's a level so profound that it bridges the gap between mind and matter, intertwining them in a complex dance of existence. Yet despite its captivating allure, Bohm's proposal is not without its critics. The lack of a specific means to falsify his theory or a neural mechanism for the emergence of the implicate order raises questions about its scientific validity. Moving on, we delve into the orch or theory, a brainchild of Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff. This theory suggests that quantum behavior in microtubules, tiny tubular structures within our neurons, may be relevant to consciousness. In other words, the orc or theory implies that our consciousness might be a symphony orchestrated at the quantum level, within the very building blocks of our neurons. However, like Bohm's implicate order, the orch or theory has also faced its share of challenges. Some aspects of the theory have been discredited, and there remains a missing link between physics and neuroscience. From the implicate order to the orch or theory, each hypothesis offers a unique lens through which to explore the enigma of consciousness. Each conjecture, each theory, is a testament to humanity's relentless pursuit of understanding the mind. While these theories have sparked interesting debates, they have also faced criticism and skepticism. Despite the fascinating hypotheses, the concept of quantum consciousness remains a scientific paradox. The idea that our minds might somehow be entwined with the enigmatic world of quantum mechanics is undeniably captivating. Yet, it is this very allure that has sparked a heated debate in the scientific community. On one side we have advocates of quantum consciousness who argue that the quantum phenomena of superposition and entanglement could play a role in our brain's function and consciousness. They propose that the classical mechanics of our neuronal connections alone cannot explain the mysteries of consciousness. On the other side, we have critics who argue quite the opposite. These scientists and philosophers contend that quantum consciousness lacks a solid scientific foundation. They point out the absence of a clear link between the realms of physics and neuroscience, a connection that is vital for this hypothesis to hold water. Furthermore, some aspects of prominent theories such as the orchestrated objective reduction proposed by Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff have been discredited, further complicating the debate. So, is quantum consciousness a scientific reality, or is it just a fascinating idea that's yet to be proven? Quantum consciousness, a concept that intertwines the mysteries of the mind with the enigmas of quantum mechanics. We've journeyed through a whirl of ideas, from the fundamental hypothesis of quantum consciousness to the intricate theories proposed by brilliant minds. We've explored the concept that classical mechanics and neuronal connections alone cannot explain consciousness, and the proposition that the enigmatic phenomena of quantum mechanics, such as entanglement and superposition, may play a role in the brain's function and our consciousness. We've delved into the controversies, the skepticism, and the ongoing discussions around this concept. We've seen how this idea overlaps with the realm of quantum mysticism, and how it is challenged by physicists and philosophers who argue against its scientific basis. Theories like David Bohm's Implicate Order and Penrose and Hameroff's Orchestrated Objective Reduction were brought forward. 
offering new perspectives, yet leaving more questions in their wake. While the concept of quantum consciousness remains a topic of debate, it continues to intrigue us, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of consciousness and the quantum realm.